Let's move on to some important Arabic facts. Written Arabic uses the Arabic alphabet and it's written from right to left. The Arabic alphabet is a script used when writing Arabic and other languages such as Persian and Urdu. The Arabic alphabet contains 28 different letters. There's no distinction between upper and lower case in Arabic. Arabic is considered a guttural language because many of the sounds come from the back of the throat. Many English words are ultimately derived from Arabic, such as sugar, cotton, algebra, and etc. Arabic alphabet Alif, Ba, Ta, Sa, Jim, Ha, Kha, Dal, Za, Ra. Zain, Sin, Shin, Sad, Dad, Ta, Za, Ain, Rain, Fa, Kaf, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Noon, Ha, Wow, Ya. Some common phrases Good morning means Sabah al khair. Good evening. Masa al khair. How are you? Kayf al hal? I'm from Morocco. Ana min al Maghrib. I'm from Britain. Ana min Britannia. I'm an engineer. Ana muhannis. My name is John. It's me, John. I'm a manager. Ana mudir. I live in Bristol. Askunu fi Bristol. This is my wife. Hadihi zawjati. I love my job. Ana uhibbu amali. Suggested number of lessons. Hours in self-study needed to reach survival, intermediate or influency. For survival or basic, you need from 50 to 80 hours in self-study. For intermediate, you need 200 to 400 hours and self-study. For fluency in Arabic, you need 800 to 1000 hours and self-study. The above all depend on intensity of the lessons and the number of self-study hours the student can manage to fit in. Recommendation would be no less than 2 multiplied by 1.5 to 2 hours lessons per week plus self-study. Difficulties faced by learners. Some aspects of Arabic can take quite some time for a beginner or student to master, including the pronunciation of certain letters where there is no equivalent in other languages. For example, it can take time to differentiate between ha, kha, sad, dad, qaf. Some aspects of writing, imperfect tense, broken plural, parts of reading, and the trilateral root system. Frequent answers and questions. What type of Arabic is spoken in the Arabic word? The answer is, most Arabs use colloquial Arabic in their day-to-day -day business. However, modern standard Arabic, MSA, unifies the whole Arab word. Do all Arabs learn modern standard Arabic or only educated people have access to it? The answer is, the education system uses modern standard Arabic and all books, prints and most TV programs contain MSA. Thus, people learn MSA in schools or through all other types of media, but if you need to master writing and reading MSA, you need to be educated. How many Arabs speak perfect English? Some Arab pupils in certain Arab countries are taught English as a second language from the age of 8 years old, but others are taught French. However, lately there is an influx of the English language across many Arab countries, where English is now taught throughout primary and secondary education. As a consequence of this, the majority of Arabs have some sort of knowledge of English. The majority of larger Arab companies have English as their official corporate language, example Al Jazeera, Aramco, etc. Is it difficult to teach myself Arabic or should I study the language with a teacher? You can teach yourself if you have time and the right methodology to study the language.
but it's advisable to have a, a tutor or a teacher due to the different alphabet and grammar. If I speak MSA on a daily basis in different countries in the Arab world, will I be understood? Yes, you would be able to travel throughout the Arab world and you will be understood by all. Is Arabic grammar similar to English grammar? No, they're different. For example, verb use, the use of nouns, sentence, order and construction are different. Uh, let's take a simple statement. A big house, in English, if translated literally to Arabic, would be house big. When forming a sentence, the copula is, is omitted in Arabic unlike the English. If the short vowels aren't written, how do I know how to pronounce the word? As an absolute beginner, you will always be provided by the short vowels. However, as your vocabulary grows, it becomes easier. Would I be able to learn some cultural aspects alongside the language? The answer is yes. Arabic language is heavily influenced by the culture and also by some religious elements.